Uh, today we're going to be talking about Savant Smart Light Switches. Um, this is one of the high volt uh, versions. This is in the Echo line. The uh, Metropolitan switches look pretty similar, or at least the guts are, uh, the internals are similar. Um, mostly the difference is uh, cosmetic on those. They come in a couple different form factors. This one here is a configurable keypad. They also have a dial for volume control and then of course standard paddle switches. So what we're going to talk about today is we've had a number of clients here recently ask, hey, what do we need to do um, to the light switches if I need to change a Wi-Fi password, something like that. Um, hopefully your integrator would have set up a network dedicated for uh, Savant light switches that somebody wouldn't normally use for mobile devices or laptops or anything like that, in which case the password probably wouldn't have to change all that much. Um, but if you do need to change it, there are a couple simple steps to go through. Um, first of all, if you're having issues with your light switch, the easiest first step is this little bar here at the bottom. Um, the two variants of light switches are the main switch and the auxiliary. The auxiliary switch is something you would find in a two or three way light switch configuration where multiple switches control the same light load. Those do not have this bar at the bottom. But you'll see there's actually a little lever here that I can push down on this corner. And when I do that, it actually cuts power to the light switch itself. So that's basically the reboot button. You'll see when I flip it back on, we've got a number of lights here at the top that are gonna go through the boot up sequence. It's gonna go red, green, blue, white. And then these lights, the three on the left and the three on the right, are gonna jo jockey back and forth depending on what the current status is. Red is indicating, hey, uh, I'm trying to connect to the network, don't currently have a connection to the host. And then it'll eventually go to purple because this switch is currently connected to the Wi-Fi. If it stays on purple, solid left and blinking right, that means that it's not currently part of any configuration or the program. Generally, if it stays that way, um, you're gonna wanna go ahead and reach out to your Savant integrator because that means that probably the light switch forgot its configuration or for some reason it's not able to reach the host. So for this particular situation, I just wanted to show you that uh, breaker here. That's gonna be step number one. Step number two, if you're having issues, um, a lot of times uh, simply rejoining it to the Wi-Fi. If it stays in the red back and forth position, that might mean that it's forgotten its configuration or its Wi-Fi configuration. So you'll see here that there's a little reset button on the left side. It's pretty hard to see with the lighting that I've got currently, but it's right next to this middle button here. If you press and hold that button for about five seconds, so we're gonna count it out. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. All right, you'll see everything went purple. It's gonna go ahead and reboot, red, green, blue, white. And then it's gonna go ahead and say, hey, I need to connect to a network. And it's gonna go red back and forth. That's when you would go ahead and pull out your smartphone and download what's called the Savant Connect app. The Savant Connect app allows you to basically determine all of the devices that are on the Wi-Fi network. Um, that are Savant devices. You can see here, I've got a number of devices, the host, I've got, uh, we've got some low voltage and some DMX lighting here as well, but you can see there's a bunch of echo switches as also. And each one of those the, has the Savant ID, which could be helpful for the integrator. But you'll see here, there's Bluetooth uh, devices on Bluetooth. This device, when it's now in provisioning mode, which is what the red jockeying back and forth uh, indicates after a reboot, means that it's ready to be added to the Wi-Fi. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and find the device that you're adding, which is in this case is gonna be the Echo Adaptive Dimmer. I'm gonna tap on that. You can see I've already got our uh, network here saved for that, but I'm gonna go ahead and do join another network. Um, this network is gonna be the network that hopefully your integrator set up specifically for it. Um, it's gonna be a 2.4 gigahertz network. So uh, for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and put in the name of our network here. So that's gonna be the network that we connect all of the Savant light switches to. Security generally is gonna be WPA2. And then the password, uh, I'm not gonna show you that unfortunately. Don't get too excited. So, all right. So I've got the password in and I'm gonna go ahead and click join. It's gonna push this information via Bluetooth over to the switch. And then if it works, you're gonna get a prompt on your phone saying provisioning complete. And then you're gonna see this go to purple back and forth. So that indicates that it's gotten the configuration information. Yep, so you see provisioning success, provision successfully, and you'll see purple here going back and forth.